So I'm responsible for the whole CapEx expansion that we did here, uh, that we started in 2017. It was a strategic decision to build this greenfield facility where first we made land high voltage cables here, um, but strategically on the banks of the Cooper River, knowing that uh, we would transform this facility to submarine uh, one day. So we're very proud that this factory is the first factory to make export uh, submarine cable in the U.S. Typical cables we make are 230,000 volts all the way up to 550,000 volts. So we're, we're getting major power from point A to point B. Let's take offshore wind farms. They create that clean energy out at sea, but the critical length is that cable, bring it back to land and to connect to the grid. Nexus is a pioneer in that sense that we're a total turnkey supplier out of this facility. The cable is designed, goes through a lot of permitting aspects, and then we launched the uh, manufacturing process. For AC three core cables, we, we basically produce three cables and, and lay those up in the one big cable and then out to the turntable, ready for the vessel to show up and then we spool onto the vessel. Inside of the high voltage lab, we do a variety of different tests. The export cable in a submarine cable system for an offshore wind farm, for example, is one of the most expensive assets in that system. It's critical to perform all these tests so that we and our customers have confidence when the cable leaves the factory that they're receiving a quality product. We can bring that 400 megawatts on shore and empower just about 300,000 houses with that, with that single wind farm and it's proven technology. Actually, as the U.S. sees this green initiative and the technology that's available now, we have to move forward and we have to be a part of that initiative. Yeah. It's an outstanding feeling to be able to play a role in being able to change the, the course of our future. Right now, our big ongoing project is we're producing cable for the South Fork Wind Farm. It will be loaded out onto the vessel to be installed at the South Fork Wind Farm early 2023. We're excited to be part of this new industrial supply chain, especially in the U.S. market. We're very uh, proud to be uh, creating over 220 good paying, high paying jobs here in Charleston.